and that is why you do not become a lawyer for Kanye West. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lunch Table Podcast, I'm Brett Lindley. I'm Jaden Renteria. And today we're going to be making outlandish takes. Just all sorts of outlandish takes. Jay, what's an outlandish take that you have? Let me start it off strong. PB&J is not that great. Why? Um, Why do you so think that? The, the jelly, great part. The peanut butter, plus bread, plus jelly, just makes it all too thick. Which part do you not like the most? Is it the peanut butter? Definitely the peanut butter. That's, uh, that's stupid. That's just stupid. How is that stupid? Well, I mean, okay, the jam is like Great. your your tangy part, right? Your your you know sweet you know <laughs> tangy, tangy part. Tangy describing <laughs> tangy describing jelly does not sound correct. I don't know. It depends on which type you got. It's you know, if you got like marmalade. Who eats marmalade on an average daily basis? Me. Sometimes, what is wrong with you? sometimes yeah, marmalade is good, bro. You did, nah. you did that. That that's just not land of steak. No, just it's, not it's just not that good. You get a normal nah. peanut butter and jelly. Nah. Say the jelly's nah. like grape. Have you ever heard of goober? What is goober? The, it's the stuff that it's the smucker stuff. It comes in jars. It's the peanut butter and the jelly that's like together in a jar. Ew. You ever seen that? That's good. I feel like it'd be just too watery because the, the jelly and then nah. like. It would just seep nah. into the peanut butter and make it look all weird. Nah, you're just stupid. Nah, nah, nah. it works. You just eat that with a spoon. There's take no it out. way that you can spoon that down. Like, oh, you you're spoon gonna need that. like five bottles of water. I'd be gulping. <laughs> oh, I'd be, I'd be gulping the goober. <laughs> you'd be what to the goober? You'd be uh, what? Nah, I mean goober's just good, bro. I do not know what you're talking. I, about. I cannot abide by that at all That's peanut butter and jelly is just not that great of a mix mm. i feel like if you want to have it you got to have it separately you know what i'm saying like i will maybe have an uncrustable maybe uncrustables are pretty solid they are solid. i gotta say because like they put a lot of jam in there they do not too much peanut butter it's yeah. gotta be like thin layer of peanut butter a whole lot of jelly yeah and that's that's pretty fruitful yeah I feel like that's the only situation that makes it really work. Uncrustables. I would like it if they were toasted. Toasted, yeah. Those, those toasted, are solid. Uncrustable. Those are solid. Make I need to do that for for the the fair. Deep oh, fried yeah. uncrustables. I bet they do that, honestly. I've never seen that. I've seen deep Might fried have. everything other than uncrustables. Yeah. I've seen deep fried fried chicken. Like they have a piece of fried chicken, they dip it in more batter and then they fry it again. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean, making it creative. Yeah. <laughs> oh, making it making a huge jump. Something I've recently become passionate about. My my biggest my take, which it might be supported by some people, might not be. I just hate like Snapchat stars, like public Snapchat figures. I hate them. Oh my god. They're, They're the worst. So annoying. Well, actually, Patrick um, Mahomes' brother. <laughs> yeah. I was just <laughs> Yeah, he's he's currently facing um, was it just sexual assault charges? I'm pretty what? sure. What? Sexual harassment, sexual assault. I can't. Believe, uh, it was one that. Well, you didn't hear about that? No. Yeah, there's literally like CCTV photo uh, image or video. I mean, of him like harassing a woman, and now he's getting. I think. Uh, well, I mean, I assume he's going to court about that. But he's 100% canceled, and everybody's celebrating about it. I'm surprised <laughs> he didn't hear about that. No, I'm shocked. No, I mean, it's just Snapchat stars. Like, if you, I've actually, I've, I've, um, I've done like a new experiment by actually clicking through their stories. They all do the same thing, like every single day, and they just post it, like every single second, because Snapchat is an app to which. You either post on it none, or you post on it 50 million times a day. And every single Snapchat star posts the most stupid things. They do the same thing every day. And yeah. it is just, like, why are you posting this? Hey, guys, I have such a, ro- like, rough life. I have to choose between a Rolls Royce and a Benz today. Yeah. Like, yeah. dude. Yeah, they have, like, the same routine. Like, they, they wake up. They go to whatever fancy breakfast restaurant, you know, they have their morning what, morning mimosas or whatever and then cocktail they is. they come home, 
take mirror pictures, mm -hmm. go to the gym, mm -hmm. take mirror pictures in the gym, mm -hmm. probably take more pictures than time worked out. Yep. And then go come back home like, this is such a hard session, guys. I hope you all see the progress I'm making, and you know it's possible. And they post a couple of things with like their friends or something, go to Crumble Cookies or something in Cali. Because <laughs> like, I mean, they're all Californian, <laughs> and that is it. I did have Crumble Cookies this weekend. Yeah. Is it good? good? They're good. It's expensive, though. It is very expensive. It was like $4, $5 for a cookie. Oh. A singular cookie is kind of ridiculous. I would do it, I would do it one time, maybe. I yeah. mean, um, that was my one and done right there. Insomnia is pretty good too. Have you Insomnia ever is only good when you freshly get the cookies. That's like, true. If you wait for them, like if you go home, say it's like thirty minutes from us. Yeah. If you go home and eat them, they're not gonna be good. It's gonna be like some chips all the way. See, I kind of like I kind of like the market that Insomnia has because they're literally right across from NC State, and their yeah, whole thing are. is that you're staying up late and all the shifts are late. It's like I just kind of find that funny. You know, it's like it's good marketing because they get everybody going there that's at true. night. I mean, yeah, at night. It's it's like you know, just skip your classes, come and work a shift, come and get some cookies. You know, who I don't, cares? I don't think anyone's gonna be taking a one a.m. class. Well, I mean, you need sleep though. Yeah, but like, sleep is for chumps. <laughs> really? You don't pull an all-nighter in prep for like a big really? test like the ACT or the SAT. Or your college exams. You really a person? Are you really a person? <laughs> if you've never done that before. You remember the uh, I ready tests? Oh my god. I used to skip through those. And they would get mad at me. For not paying attention to them. <laughs> like I kind of just click through it. Get done in like 20 minutes. They're like, How are you done? I'm like I'm smart. I was not smart. I was clicking through. <laughs> but, oh, what was my principal's name? I got to remember it. Um, no, it wasn't, I think it was Owens or something like that. Owen something. His first name was Owen. And I called him Owen, Owen something. But he had to give me like five talks about these I ready tests. <laughs> he was like, Jaden, you got to start taking these more seriously. Your teachers in middle school. Yeah, middle school are going to be like looking at these. I was like, they're not going to care. <laughs> Who's going to care about an I ready test from the third grade? Yeah, I mean, my take personally is that I ready was useless. I don't even think they use it anymore. I'm pretty sure. I think they use Alexia now. I ain't used much Alexia. I was a, I grew up as an I, as an I ready kid. But Didn't I, hated I ready it. have those like characters? Yeah, they did. It was like the uh, those are pretty cool. The Raz, Raz, Raz. You remember the? They had like a uh, sweet tea, pepper Jackie. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. To remember I that know. one tall blonde kid that they had that one character that looks like the Chili's Chili. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I hated I ready. Oh no, I was terrible. Yeah, we had like a protest for it in my middle school. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, had... anti I ready protest. Yeah, yeah, because we just didn't like it. We mm. we just had base takes back then. You know, base so, takes. Base takes. What's another base take that you have? Base take. Um, Kanye is not that great of a producer. You think? I think Kendrick Lamar is definitely a better producer. Oh yeah, Kendrick is much better. I, I would think. even say Steve Lacey is better. Yeah. You know the amount of hits Steve Lacey has been on. They're just made. List some. List some. All right, we got the obvious one. Uh, why is it blanking my mind right now? Uh, dang. Oh my god. You're fake. I'm going I'm going so blind. No, You're I have fake. a whole playlist. You're fake. Of just Steve Lacey and thinks he's produced. So you would think at this point that you'd be pulling out said playlist on his phone, but I'm no. about to grab it. I'm grabbing it. Right, let me type. Let me type. <laughs> plus plus you know, Kanye's a bit of a risky topic in oh, yeah. general right now. Oops. Who even knows where he is? I don't know. He's probably in some random He's somewhere random. He's just he's vanished. I feel like he's just in one of his like eighty penthouses. I thought it. Okay, is he even going to be able to afford those penthouses? I mean, Adidas is already begging for him back. Oh really? Yeah, they lost a billion dollars, and then they were like, "Please come back." <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know. I feel like they might want him back. Slightly. Maybe. Because a billion dollars, losing a billion dollars. 
It's pretty significant, but Kanye lost a lot of money himself, too. Yeah, but he also has, like, the other things he sells for his own merch, and then he has loyal fans. That's true. All right, it's called Bad Habit. Why did I forget that? <laughs> yes, Bad Habit, Dark Red, 9-11 Mr. Lonely. He produced uh, Pride by Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. Probably one of the best songs on earth yeah. in my top five ever. I could probably hit it word for word right now, but copyright is a thing. <laughs> We're not going to risk that. That is true. Yeah. Mr. Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Duckworth, if I did use your song, it was in good spirit. <laughs> Please Fair don't enough. do anything to our channel. <laughs> um, next bad take or outlandish take, NFL scripted. What do you think? Shut <laughs> I keep on, I keep on talking about this. It's <laughs> like the third it. episode. <laughs> you love the NFL script thing. What do you think the likelihood of an NFL script is? You wouldn't um, know. None of us know. I feel like it's not very likely. Really? Yeah. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them. You're one of them. You're part. You're part of the uh, big NFL group. You're part of big NFL, aren't you? Like like you're, big you're, N- like big pharma. Yeah. <laughs> big, <laughs> like big anywhere. You're part of them, aren't you? Tom Brady is the main character. The NFL. If he, if there's like a protagonist, he's the main character. Patrick Mahomes is probably no, no. Tom Brady's a mentor. Patrick Mahomes is the protagonist. Antagonist Antonio Brown. It just works. That's I don't think is. we should talk about AB. No, we shouldn't talk about AB. Actually, he's been an interesting man. Yeah, the last couple of months or a year and a half. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he's the antagonist, though. Yeah, yeah. I saw him, he was like at a concert somewhere. I think it was Rolling Loud. And he was like, somebody throw me a football. Yeah, and he just had this ultra instant catch. Because there was like five footballs coming at him. And then he just like catches one one-handed. I'm like, this guy has ultra instinct. I don't know why he's on at Rolling Loud on the Rolling Loud <laughs> stage with somebody. I don't even know who he was with. It wasn't like a big headliner. It was with yeah. somebody's smaller show, but people pulled up because AB's there. So he's just doing, he's making money. At least he's making money. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd, screw it. You know, I, I'd throw it up as a 40 60, I'd say. 40 60. Yeah, 40 60 being a script oh, and okay. 60 being non script. I'd say, like, there's like a 10 to 15% chance that it's scripted. <laughs> I don't, like, I'm not going to scratch the idea of it. Yeah. But I feel like it's a bit outlandish to script every single game. Even though, like, I used to think WWE was not scripted. <laughs> <laughs> WWE was pretty great, though. Like, old WWE before, like, let's say 2016. Yeah. That Wait, was great. Isn't Logan Paul on WWE now? Logan Paul is on WWE. <laughs> He's just, like, I think he it. tore his, like, MCL <laughs> at, like, WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing him at it because I'm a fan of K- KSI. I watch his YouTube channel, and then yeah. like, Logan Paul is just there every now and then. Yeah, they also have a podcast like us, but they wanna, they wanna have a studio like us. They do. They want our, our studio is a one. The our studio is a one. We're looking at a uh, mostly empty room behind us. We'll we see. have a Beauty and the Beast poster. Yeah. Percy Jackson. Stranger Things. Avengers. Avengers, yeah. And Doctor Who. Yeah, currently our. Uh, Back studio is in a bit of a disarray because we've remodeling been remodeling stage. I guess remodeling. I stage. guess you could call it remodeling. Yes, um, but that is because our TikTok crew has been very active. Uh, TikTok slash Instagram Reels. They just actually made the Cleveland what Cleveland, Cleveland cheeses, cheeses. It, but it's called Cleveland cheeses, right? For Cleveland cheeses, it might be Cleveland cheeses for Cleveland cheeses because. <laughs> Um, all of us in the script had cheese names, yeah, so I, I was, uh, butter pecan ice cream, I think, Mia was, uh, queso fresco, <laughs> Casey was big cheddar, <laughs> it just kept going with, like, dairy-related items. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but, uh, it got, it got sent out on, uh, emails for everyone for Cleveland Chooses. Very good video. Very good video. If you haven't seen it already, check your emails. Miss Pierce sending it out to everyone. Shout out to Adrian for putting all oh, that yes. work into the production. He was 
lead production man. Mm-hmm. He did all of our editing. He uh, partially wrote the script. Shout out Max for writing the great script that I couldn't follow. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like 15 takes to yeah, walk down the hallway. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me too much. What, what does that mean? <laughs> Outlandish take number what? What number is this? Four? Jay, you are a fool. That's my outlandish take, which isn't that outlandish. That's why it's outlandish. <laughs> I am not a fool. I am a wise uh, man. As a, like, this reminds me, that one old Chinese proverb. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it, can you? It's just that one old Chinese proverb. All right. Yep. So you're just quoting nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You just you just made it up. No, it's that one old Chinese proverb. <laughs> okay. I'm lost. You've lost me. It's like that that saying everybody got. Hey. We have a special guest. <laughs> we have a special guest. Uh. <laughs> Let him share your mic. Yeah. Pull that up. Well, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, sorry. Sorry, what'd you say? Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm. Who am I talking to? The podcast. Podcast. I'm Louis Bain. Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're over here making outlandish takes. Oh. Do you have an? Outlandish what is a crazy take, take yeah, you have? Just Louis? crazy take. Milk is top one things in the world. <laughs> I think we can talk about that. I think there's some truth to that. There is. I feel like you could argue that. You always could. Cereal. Close it. Cereal, you know, Pop-Tarts, chocolate milk. Why did you say Pop-Tarts? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You really put that one out, huh? <laughs> um, I said cereal for, you know. Yeah, the per- milk and the cereal. Yeah, I understand I that said, one. Yeah. But okay. just straight Pop-Tarts? Yeah. All right. You ever put pop tarts in the microwave? Yeah. Or do you put it in the toaster? I put it in my toaster. Okay. Yeah. Well, put it in your microwave, bro. <laughs> Just heat it up a little bit. You take off the tin foil. <laughs> Don't have your entire microwave blow up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put your pop tarts in microwaves. All right. But look, you ever put your pop tart in the toaster and then dip it in some milk? I'm talking cinnamon sugar, warm, crusted on the bottom. That sounds good. Dark brown on the bottom. Sounds good. That sounds really nice. I might have to try that when I get home now. With milk. Milk. Just, just a glass of milk? Milk is A1. You know how they have S-tiers and stuff like that? Yeah. Milk is an S-tier object, drink, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I feel like as a drink, standalone, maybe B-tier. To complement other things, definitely S-tier. Okay, okay but, yeah. Would, but would you drink milk as a thirst quencher? <sighs> Oh, no. Um, I would also not drink my milk with ice. I know people that do what? that. Yeah, people put ice in their milk. People need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, What was that question you asked about the milk? Uh, as a thirst quencher by itself? Yeah, yeah. thirst quencher. Here's a scenario for you. Eating Oreos <laughs> and or any type of cookie, what drink do you want to wash that cookie down your throat? You want milk. That's what you want. Milk is S tier. Milk is S tier, but only in that situation. Like, if I want a thirst quencher, I'm going for water. If I want something with a little more taste, I'm going for apple juice. Uh, Apple juice is... Apple apple juice with some ice? Apple juice is on a On a warm day? Okay. Okay. I just think... I just think you're thinking... All right. The way I'm thinking about it is last beverage you can drink in the world. You know what I'm Last? saying? You can have water and you can have this beverage, right? Ooh, ah, okay. And you know, and you know, you you could mix milk with anything. You know what well, I'm saying? Milk goes into everything. So if you if you mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup. That was a bad take, buddy. Relish. Is that rilk? <laughs> rilk. <laughs> 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 Freaking uh, strawberry milk, strawberry milk, cookies mm. and cream milk. 
That sounds like... I feel like it's just a milkshake. Yeah, it's just a milkshake. It is. You couldn't have milkshakes anymore if you picked, you know, sweet tea for your forever lasting beverage. But, like, sweet tea, you got you, like, a nice a nice Sunday dinner. Mm-hmm. Jay, I think this... I think this is part of what we talked about before. I think you're a fool. I, I, I'm Louis, a fool. Louis convinced me, personally. Oh, I, I could easily convince you that Jaden's a fool. <laughs> I have plenty, plenty of examples oh. of Jaden being absolutely foolish. See, the thing is, <laughs> Louis, the thing, <laughs> the thing. Do you is, want me to bring up some certain things about your aspects in life? You're very <laughs> foolish, man. Okay, wait. <laughs> We could probably talk about this for a long time. Is this a new topic, Louis' foolishness? This is, this is, not, <laughs> this is not a new topic. I mean, it can be the topic because I was just talking about milk. We can, we can bring it back to the foolishness. Would what's you a, like to? What's another take? What's another take? Another take? Another take, yeah. Another take. Um, another take. Mechanical versus wooden pencils? No. 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 no not no. at all. Yeah. No. Terrible suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. Hor- horrendous suggestion. Rhinos versus hippos. Hippos. Rhinos. I feel like the 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 hippos taking that rhino. You're tripping. The rhino with the big old horn on its nose. But do you know how strong them hippos are? Like the their are, jaw strength is crazy. Rhinos are similar sizes. That's true. Yeah, but like all the rhino has is that horn. Okay, the hippo has its its weight. It has the, its the mouth. Way it is, Do you know how crazy those things are in the wild? If I was a hippo, can swim. Like really they, can, they rhinos can run. Swim? They can run fast. Can, run. can rhinos swim? No. You sure? I'm, I mean, they, I'm they fairly walk, sure they, they can, can walk in the water. They can walk in the water if it's shallow enough. But like, <laughs> can rhinos <laughs> swim? Are you guys still recording? We have yeah. another guest. We have another <laughs> guest for the podcast. Asian rhinos are also excellent swimmers, crossing rivers with ease, but their African relatives are very poor swimmers and can drown in deep water, so they stick to, to wallowing in mud for a cool down. So yeah, it just sounds like rhinos are mid. Yeah, it sounds like rhinos aren't that great at swimming. This Rhin- is a 22-minute right. recording. Rhinos are not mid. No, oh, introduce though. yourself, new guest. Yeah, new guest. No, oh, I was previously featured on the podcast. My name's Adrian. Welcome back, Adrian. Thanks, pal. Well, welcome back. Give him a little round of applause. Thanks, guys. I just really came back here because I need a, a box for a video I'm making. All right, drop a drop an outlandish take and real we'll, quick. Just we'll run with it. Take. We'll just run with it. Um, I don't know. I think maybe. God, I don't know. I don't really have an outlandish take. You have to have one. one. You have to have, have one, one in your brain. One that's been like um, one that's been around there for a while. I don't know. Uh, I feel like we should be more hateful towards ang- English people. Like like people like from Britain? British? Yeah, British. Everybody has an Independence Day from them. Side note, everybody does have an Independence Day. Like they're like oh and twenty seven. They have bad teeth. They, they do. do. But you know, you know why that is? Why? Because in sugar. Britain, it's, uh, it's covered by their health insurance, but it has to get to a certain point. Like their teeth have to be so bad for it to be covered by health insurance. Ah. Uh. My teeth aren't straight because my health coverage doesn't get I, there. I I drink sugar. With water. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bad? That was, that was terrible. Okay, that was a poor. New uh, point of discussion. Sorry. I, <laughs> I learned when I can and can't. Oh, can designer clothes, like designer fashion on the walkway. It's you so would bad. get you would get made fun of on the street. It's so bad. Why do they? Why? I mean, like as a statement piece, cool. But like, if you're walking around the street in that, like. I'm going to call you a fool. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get made fun of. You're going to get looked at. Oh, no doubt. Um, you know, like the full rubber bodysuits they have? Mm-hmm. Like, did you see what? Um, Sorry, I'm just getting you're going to see, you, like, who was it? Um, he made that one song. Like, it was, it was like, you say I'm crazy. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Yeah. He wore that rubber suit. Like, let me pull up a picture of that. That was crazy. You're not walking around this See, town unharmed wearing something like that. Yeah, but he he's in L.A., New York, Vegas, those kind of places. He's not in, you know, Clayton, North Carolina. He's in he's in those big popular, you know, pop culture cities, states, or whatever you want to call. Them. Yeah, over here, over here, you just get me a phone number for that. All right, let, like, look at this. 
That oh, is that crazy. Is that is wow. That's ridiculous. I never. Even you know that episode of SpongeBob where uh, <laughs> Squidward ate all of those Krabby Patties and they all went to his head? Oh yeah. That's what it looks like. That's what it reminds me of. It does look like that. Oh my god. Wait, what was the event that Doja Cat went to and she was just red? I the Grammys or something? Yeah, it was the Grammys. She was literally just all red. It was like red rubies or stuff like that. What she had like red? a red rubber suit on? No, it was like actual crystals on her body glued onto her. It was wow. like on her eyelids and everything. That's beautiful though. You gotta think about the publicity that she's getting from that. Definitely, but like she's making money. That is crazy, like all on your head. She shaved her head too. Like, she's of, been bald headed. Speaking of wow, wow, she's Doja just Cat completely red. Yeah, that's a little crazy though. Let's Imagine. talk about that. Doja Cat and like SZA and those big female artists making incredible amounts of money nowadays. Facts. I love the impact they're making. Like I'm a good. I can listen to a good SZA song. I'll listen to the full album. I would. Yeah, I would listen to a full album. Doja Cat. I think I have a full album saved in my phone right now. I definitely don't. Um, all right. All right. I just said it. Does anybody else have any, uh, any takes that they have to share other than, you know, yeah, that. <laughs> Pasta's better than pizza. Come on. Gap. I mean, there's some good pastas, though. Yeah, think about how versatile pasta is, though. But in terms of, wow, if I would rather right. sit- Mm. No, that's like facts. the versatility of pasta. That's facts. Cause you can have pasta with chicken, mm-hmm. with you shrimp, can't. with beef, mm-hmm. with anything. Okay. Lobster, crab, lobster. We're not crab. thinking about the pizza. Mm. Okay, but like we're thinking about traditional pizzas, aren't we? We're thinking about pepperoni cheese. That's what we're thinking about right now, right? That's Meat a lovers, classic. Maybe. That's a classic. It is, it is a classic, but you can also get buffalo chicken pizza, margarita mm. pizza, mm. margarita pizza. I might get me a buffalo chicken pizza today after school. Nico's, I'm gonna hit y'all up. Can Nico's I, can I come with Nico's you? Nico's is mid. But you, you know how Nico's lo- is mid. Nico's is mid. I you know how it. large those pizzas are. It's a bunch of mid pizzas. A bunch, a bunch oh, of mid. No, it's a bunch no. of mid. It just means you get more mid pizza. Just the, it's I mean, exquisite. I could probably put down one of those larges myself. I can't say I've ever been to Nico's before. Nico's, yeah, hit them up. Hit them up. What, get, get a large. Or like an extra large, I don't know which size it was that I got like last weekend. But man, I put like five slices down in one sitting. Hmm. The people I was with looking at me strange because I put down five extra large slices of Nico's buffalo chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken pizza. Is there buffalo chicken pizza better than Domino's? Ooh, it's arguable. It really? depends like what type of buffalo chicken you're in the mood for because they put like ranch on it too. Because oh, of ranch and buffalo well, I sauce. I love, love ranch. Yeah. Especially on pizza. It's but the, crazy. But the question is, though, is, it, is pasta better than it, though? Oh. Because, oh, um, I mean, if I, I would get say, a, if I get a good helping of chicken out or uh, chicken alfredo. Oh, yes. That that top pizza every time, dude. I, I feel like say, it does. I feel like I feel it like does. Because there's like so much can. you can do with chicken alfredo. Like, if you want a buffalo chicken pizza, you could, buffalo you could put sauce. buffalo sauce on, on chicken, chicken alfredo. Yeah. Plus, and then I get mean, a little bread with it. Plus, pasta is just easier to make. It is. Pizza pasta it is. is so easy to make. It's yeah. so accessible. Yeah. But, like, for pizza, you kind of got to go to a pizza place. And you can always dress up pasta. And you can dress it down, dress it up. You know what I'm saying? It's yes, very, sir. very versatile food. Hit item. it with a little garnish. Yeah. A little garnish, yeah. Because yeah. garnish doesn't look as good on pizza. It doesn't. You're, you're in pizza, you know what I'm saying? You're in your bed. You're in sweatpants, you know what I'm saying? You might have socks on. You might have one sock on. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're eating pasta. You're fully clothed at least nine times out of ten. Yeah, you're, you're at that dinner table. You're at that dinner table having a nice meal. Yeah. Rather than, you know, being lonely and fat. <laughs> Wearing gray sweatpants, a white shirt that has stains on it. You yeah. know, maybe, like, because, like, who just eats chicken alfredo on the couch? No one. Nobody. No one does that. You're sitting there at your dinner table. You're you you're you're sat up. Your yeah. posture is your good. Your posture is great. you you have fork. You have spoon yeah. to to you, get the extra stuff. Napkin is tucked napkin. into your shirt. Yeah, you have a dress shirt on. You might have chopsticks depending on which you're at. You're the setting. Is. Yeah, you're setting up the table for yeah, your parents. Yeah. You're setting out the glasses. You're getting a good dinner table set up yeah. right there. Or some did y'all chicken have, Alfredo. Did y'all, have to, did, y'all, did y'all ever have to set your table? I do. Like when you were a I kid, do. I do. I still do to this day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. 
It's and cultural. then I, I also um, help clean up afterwards. You know. What what culture uh, what culture are you talking about? Where you referring to? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to be relatable. Your culture, I don't right? have a culture. I don't have a culture uh, really. Uh, I'm a drifter. Really. I'm really a drifter. You look real real culturally, you know, sound diverse. I mean, diverse, yeah, 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 that's the word. Yeah, I mean I try my hardest. Yeah. What can I you say? You look culturally accepting. Yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I good. Hey. I handshake. You know, especially with people who respect a good pasta. Too. Yeah, a good pasta. A good great. pasta. But yep. if you think pizza is better than pasta, like overall, I mean, it's something's good, wrong with it's you. Good, but it's not better than pasta. But, but I also I'm say, don't respect your opinion. If you <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's just, that's the end of it. Like you're, you. What do you say to me after that? Is completely irrelevant because I don't believe you. Yeah, you could tell. You could like. Show me that you have superpowers. I wouldn't believe you still because you said pizza's better than pasta. Like you can show me physical evidence. You're still lying. How are you gonna have superpowers but be that so super dumb? You know. <laughs> <laughs> you All know, right. it's it's give and take. Every action has a reaction. It does. You know what I'm saying? I feel it was like, like Newton's third law. Up, no, it's like Newton's third law. Every action has a reaction. Would y'all consider yourselves proactive people? Proactive in which aspect? Proactive rather than reactive. In, in, in any aspect. In, in life, I'm very proactive. Uh, I make my decisions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if other people try to get a reaction out of me, they're not getting it 95% of the time. Because, like, you control your, your destiny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't control what other people do, you know, like... Bro, if I could control what you did, I would make you do a backflip right now. Yeah, I'd do it. But 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 you no. can't. <laughs> but no, I can't. I can't. I can't. No. The only thing I can control is my reactions. Yeah. So if I see you try to do a backflip, you might break your neck. I'm gonna react and call nine one one. I'm gonna pull my phone out and record. I'll go on the uh, <laughs> I'll go on the TikTok. You yeah. The content. Yeah. That that'd go viral. That'd be great content for our TikTok page. Adrian is very talented. Adrian TikTok. is very talented. We talked about this a little earlier. We give him really? shouts out. That's fantastic. Shouts yeah. out. Shouts out. Shouts out. Shouts out, my man. Shouts out. Shouts out, Everybody. my man. Shouts out that boy, man. Well, that boy's working. Uh, I want to see him in Hollywood. I want to see him somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him up there because he uh, he's always there. been a nice. I just guy. want to see him somewhere. Like if it's a food line, yeah, or anything, or Nico's Pizza Nico. later today. You, hey, you pizza. should hit that up. You wanna hit that up we after can, school? We can hit that together if you'd like. I have a meeting, but yeah, we can hit that. I'm yeah. down. All right, well, we're gonna finish off with Jay and Louie making their plans. Uh, well, that, that was a good podcast, guys. It was thirty good. minutes. Yeah, of I enjoyed some, that. I enjoyed thirty that. minutes of some odd takes. I really enjoyed this. Some I, special guests. I'd love to, uh, you know, join again one day. This was great. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank well, you, Louie. We'll That's see great. you next time. I'm Brett. I'm, I'm Jaden. <laughs> we'll see that you next time. That was terribly Bye-bye. out of order. <laughs>